and your eyes are so, your head is an eye, and your ear is on your head. Okay, thank you, whatever that means. Hello and welcome our lovely subscribers. The sun is shining in our eyes, so sorry for squinting. And it's freaking cold outside. <clears throat> Yeah, it is totally cold. We were gonna like, Ooh. like do a welcome like scene outside, but it's so cold. Um, look, we're going to go to a uh, fortress town that uh, has existed since the ninth century uh, in the Great Moravian Empire times. Um, however, since the fifteenth century, I think, or the fourteenth, they've built these underground tunnels and stuff as part of fortifications. Um, under the city, so there's up to like 27 or more kilometers of tunnels. We're now up to a tunnel and a bunker hunting. <laughs> now we're gonna go and look at an underground city, really. And you would have uh, remembered in the um, one of the previous videos that we shot, we actually mentioned this place, Znoimo. So um, I guess we're gonna go on the road trip. No. And cheers. And see you there. <laughs> Life is in a stream The ocean calls for you And me Still I'm in this game But without my closest friend We're at the hotel and we're ready to have lunch. Everyone is starving. Especially Everyone is starving. Well, someone already had food. Yeah, that little one. And um, Hayley? We're going to the tunnels. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, the tunnels are only a seven minute walk from here. No, drive, sorry. So we might walk in my drive, we'll see. Uh, but we first have to uh, refuel our stomachs and then we'll go down there. Doesn't it feel like you're walking in Innsbruck, Austria right now? It does a little bit remind me yeah? of Innsbruck, my favorite place on earth. This place, um, actually, you could see the history and the architecture and the cobblestones on the streets and everything else. It's so wonderful here. Really, really, really beautiful. Unexpectedly. We came here for something else, like the underground city, but then the city on top of the underground city is also beautiful. So something funny just happened. <laughs> you see that sign? What happened? <laughs> well, we really like coffee and if we see something like that, <laughs> we went to buy a coffee and what did you what did you got? Sorry, we don't sell coffee here, but they've got like, I love coffee outside of the sh shop sign. Weird. <laughs> As we're walking through the city, uh, we saw a few signs that there's a whole bunch of institutes here around the preservation of Gothic Renaissance. So it leads me to believe that quite a lot of the style here that is being preserved is Gothic Renaissance. So there you go. We also found this little <coughs> gate over there, which you can't see that well. You can come back onto one of the old city walls. And uh, then I can climb up and look at my wife like she's a minion. Uh, but other than that, you can see like a massive like inland lake between some hills and stuff there. It's really beautiful. Um, and then obviously this beautiful church. So apparently this is actually one of the largest subterranean labyrinths in Central Europe. And there's like torture chambers, dungeons and a lot of other things in here. So we're all ready. And in a few minutes, we'll be going in here. Here we go, under the underground. 
<laughs> in the underground, sorry. And under the underground. Sorry, that's my dry human. Through this reinforced concrete. This is obviously done later. Uh, to, to make it safe for tourism. Ooh, it's over there. What's over there? Wow, that's mold. Some torture chamber, obviously. This is obviously what you know will do with me if I don't listen to her. <laughs> or she keeps you in the cage like that at home. This is the funny lady. <laughs> See, it's like a whole labyrinth of tunnels. So apparently, this was also used for alchemy. So, a lot of people did alchemy down here, experiments with precious metals and stuff to try and make gold and all that type of stuff. I'm not sure if these are real or made up. This really looks real, to be honest. These tunnels are really so cool. You can get lost in them forever. There's apparently like four or five layers under each other. All right, mate, chill out. Sorry for all the noise, it's just so many people here today because this is a paid tour. Unfortunately, you can't get in here without paying for a tour. Careful, honey, don't slip. Careful, you're gonna bump your head, you're so tall. For your reference, we're not that tall, so I was just joking that she's short, but I'm short as well. Nothing there. reference I actually have to like duck down to get through here I'm still okay. <laughs> and she's still okay <laughs> so which way you can shoot which way <laughs> Apparently we have no light because someone is trying to be funny, like the tour guide. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. 
think they're on their way out. I'm not sure. So here's the gist. The gist is that um, I think this is by far one of the most organic underground places I've been in where you really feel how people would have lived under oppression and where they had to go underground to to live and escape persecution and uh, as you can see it was like a whole city underground there was like torture chambers there were places where people cooked people slept and everything else like that so now uh, we only showed you a short bit obviously because this is a guided tour and there's other people and who um, frankly would run out of battery but um, Overall, how much would you rate this experience? Well, if that guy was not talking and we were just walking ourselves, I would enjoy a lot more. Yeah, so what do you what do you what do you guys think? You know, should guided tours just uh, not speak and let people uh, explore. explore and enjoy it for themselves instead of just standing there listening to some you know <laughs> mumbling you know every 30 seconds of the tour for such a long period of time um i think so let us know in the comments so this is the end of the road for this adventure we're sitting here in a really 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 nice restaurant uh, exit exit from the underground underground is Nice. Yeah, so as Julia said, this is also the exit, or one, one of the exits from the underground tour. But anyway, um, we really like the, you know, atmosphere, the smell, and they have really nice burgers here. So we each got um, some nice beef burgers, and uh, we're about to enjoy that. We'll go to the hotel, sleep, and uh, yeah, that's our story for today. See you on the next adventure. Bye.